In the wilderness, animals typically maintain a safe distance from humans due to fear. So, when a lone man found himself approached by a tigress, he was unprepared for the incredible request she would make. Joseph, a man who cherished exploring the magical wilderness, was born and raised in a small rural village in Russia, surrounded by a magnificent forest. His father took him into the forest throughout his youth, teaching him hunting, tracking, and fostering an appreciation for nature's beauty. As Joseph grew older, he became a hunter, leveraging his knowledge of the forest to navigate and secure the best game. One ordinary day, as Joseph set out for a hunt, little did he know that his love for the wild would lead him to a life-altering situation. The forest, bathed in an ethereal morning glow, seemed even more enchanting. By midday, Joseph decided to take a lunch break, having successfully hunted a few birds. In an unfamiliar part of the forest, he spotted a clearing ahead and decided to rest there. To his astonishment, in the middle of the clearing stood a tiger. Fear gripped Joseph, but the tiger, having sensed his presence, stared at him without aggression. Despite the initial surprise, the tiger displayed a calm demeanor. Joseph, seizing the opportunity, cautiously raised his gun, aiming at the tiger. However, the big cat remained still, gazing at the hunter. Perplexed by the tiger's behavior and unwilling to harm the majestic creature if it posed no real threat, Joseph slowly lowered his gun and approached the animal. As he moved closer, the tiger took a few steps back, growling softly as a warning. Observing the tigress's movements, Joseph noticed unmistakable signs that she was a female, with teats full of milk. This revelation indicated that she had cubs nearby. Additionally, Joseph observed that the tigress was visibly limping, raising concerns about her well-being. Approaching softly, he called out to the tigress, attempting to reassure her. Surprisingly, the tigress responded positively, ceasing her growling and allowing Joseph to approach closely. As he neared, Joseph realized the severity of the tigress's wound. It appeared as though someone had attempted to shoot her, hitting the back of her leg. Unfortunately, the wound had become infected, compromising the tigress's health. Witnessing the distressing condition of the wound, Joseph immediately attempted to assist. However, the tigress, with growls, kept him at bay. In an extraordinary turn of events, the tigress turned and walked toward the edge of the clearing. She paused at the trees, and Joseph began to hear tiny mules and growls, the sounds of the tigress's cubs. The tigress gently picked up one of her cubs and limped back towards Joseph. Once she reached him, she delicately placed the cub at his feet. She repeated the process with a second cub, leaving it next to the first. Joseph, both confused and astonished, wasn't sure what the tigress expected him to do with her cubs. Fearful of the consequences, he hesitated to touch them. At that moment, the tigress started to walk away from the hunter and her cubs. Joseph, shocked, attempted to signal the animal to wait, but the feline merely glanced at him one last time before vanishing into the woods. Although stunned, Joseph understood that the mama tiger wouldn't abandon her babies without reason. He feared that the adult feline sensed her limited time and aimed to ensure her cub's survival. Reluctant to leave the young tigers alone, Joseph scooped them up and exited the forest, heading back to his home. Once safely in the village, Joseph decided to take the tiger cubs to the local vet to ensure their well-being. Wanting to provide the best care, the vet confirmed the cubs' good health and offered guidance on their diet and care as they grew. Following the vet's advice meticulously, Joseph watched as the two cubs, named Sasha and Alexei, grew larger and stronger over time. Officials from the nearby city zoo learned of the young tigers and approached Joseph, expressing interest in purchasing them for the zoo's attractions. Despite a tempting offer, Joseph refused to part with the animals, feeling a commitment to the mama tigress who entrusted him with her cubs. As time passed, the two tigers matured into beautiful young adults, equipped with the skills needed for survival in the wild. Eventually, the moment arrived for them to be reintroduced to their natural habitat, having learned all the essential skills to thrive independently. Joseph felt a twinge of sadness as he watched the tigers go, acknowledging that the forest was their rightful home. A couple of years later, 
while walking through the forest in search of game, Joseph had the idea to revisit the clearing where he had encountered the tigress and her cubs. Hoping against the odds that the animals he had raised might still be in the area, he made his way to the familiar spot. Upon reaching the clearing, Joseph observed that it hadn't changed much. However, he noticed several odd holes in the ground. Paying little attention, he decided to set up his tent and camp for the night before returning home the next day. As Joseph looked up from his campfire, a massive grizzly bear emerged from the woods and entered the clearing. The bear, spotting Joseph, charged toward him. Realizing he had left his gun in the tent, Joseph jumped up and sprinted into the woods, away from the approaching bear. The grizzly continued its pursuit, closing in on the terrified hunter. Just when it seemed Joseph might not survive, two orange and black blurs appeared from the trees, positioning themselves between the bear and the man. To Joseph's surprise and relief, the blurs were Sasha and Alexei, the two adult tigers he had raised. Ensuring Joseph was safely behind them, the tigers bravely fought off the grizzly. Eventually, the bear gave up and walked away. Overwhelmed, Joseph couldn't believe that the animals he had cared for had come to his aid in a moment of need. After checking that Joseph was okay, the tigers retreated into the trees. Although Joseph knew he might never encounter them again, he was delighted to see the two animals thriving and healthy in their natural environment. The breeders of the Richmond Zoo love the animals in the zoo very much. Many times, when the animals are giving birth, they need to observe from the sidelines to prevent any accidents to the animals. A cheetah just gave birth to its own cub. When the breeder looked closely, he let out a scream. What happened? Cheetahs are beautiful and unique animals, these majestic creatures are the fastest animals on land, and as impressive as they are, they are also in danger. Because of poaching and climate change, cheetahs are experiencing a decline in their numbers. They have become endangered animals. That's why many animal intervention groups are working hard to improve their numbers. They must take some measures to protect these precious animals. Melanie was one of the intervention projects for cheetahs, and something magical happened. When the cheetah became pregnant, the staff couldn't help cheering and celebrating, because cheetahs are not easy to get pregnant, and it has become very rare, because cheetahs are not random reproduce. These cheetahs have their own unique persistence that has been passed down from generation to generation. As they grow older, female cheetahs will gather with male cheetahs, and they are very picky about their mates, making it difficult to improve the population situation of cheetahs. So choosing the best mate for them is crucial, and the female cheetah in this story is no exception. Melanie is a beautiful and intelligent three-year-old girl. According to the standards of cheetahs, she has reached the fertile age. The zookeeper thinks it is time, so she introduces a potential mate to her, and also hope that it can contribute to increasing the number of cheetahs in the world as soon as possible. Zookeepers arranged for one of the zoo's most popular male cheetahs just for him and tried to pair them up, but it has been unsuccessful. Melanie doesn't like it, they don't have any chemistry and it's a very tricky situation. Although very strong and healthy herself, Melanie seems uninterested in her male companion, in fact she almost always ignores or avoids her male companion completely. About six weeks passed without any progress in the mating process, the zookeepers realized if they were going to make the project a success they needed to introduce Melanie to a new companion. They need to change their plans, and of course they won't force it to mate with a cheetah they don't like, so they need to do their best to find a partner for Melanie, but what is unexpected is that this happened soon. The zookeeper brought a six-year-old cheetah, and Melanie immediately fell in love with the six-year-old male cheetah. Don't waste any time, they expressed their love for each other from the first meeting, the chemistry between them is very good, this couple is very sweet, play together every day, they are almost connected, don't want each other get out of each other's sight. The zookeeper is also very happy to see them get along in harmony. It seems that Melanie has found a partner, someone she really likes, soon, the staff noticed some interesting changes in Melanie. Its eating habits suddenly changed, and some typical behavioral characteristics also changed. The staff boldly speculated that maybe just as they planned, Melanie was pregnant. They suppressed their joy and asked Melanie to undergo a medical test. 
After the results came out, it proved that their conjecture was indeed correct, Melanie is finally pregnant, much to the delight of everyone working on the project. It looks like their cheetah family will have a new member and things are finally looking up for the species. A few months later, zookeepers began planning for Melanie's delivery. Cheetahs are not pregnant for very long, so action must be taken quickly. The average pregnancy period of a female leopard is about 92 to 98 days, which is more than three months. During this period, the zookeepers created a beautiful and comfortable environment for Melanie, they used very comfortable materials for the floor, in order to give Melanie a good experience. For this newborn cheetah cub, the administrators also installed a camera in the enclosure, because they were worried that they would not be able to be there in person, so that when Melanie gave birth, they could still keep an eye on it, just in case something happened what is the problem. Just like humans, we cannot predict the exact date of birth, and the same is true for cheetahs, nothing is certain, and the staff must always be prepared until one day, Melanie started exhibiting some strange behavior and the first thing the zookeepers noticed was that she became very restless, a pregnant cheetah walking around impatiently. Until 3 o'clock in the morning, Melanie walked into the specially made enclosure for her. The zookeepers watched this magical moment, and everyone couldn't help their hearts beating faster and their eyes moist, Melanie began pacing around the pen, finding herself a comfortable birthing position, lying down, crouching, standing, dutifully trying to at around 4.23 am, Melanie gave birth to her first baby, and as soon as she was born, Melanie had already cleaned it up, and she showed her motherly love. The cute little baby had its eyes closed, but everyone could tell it was healthy and it was breathing steadily, the staff were ecstatic, and just as they were about to leave the observation room for a physical examination of the leopard cubs, something surprising happened. It turns out that Melanie didn't just have a baby. The cheetah continued to pace around the enclosure. When the staff saw it becoming agitated again, they stopped their steps. They returned to the observation room, still through the camera, start tracking its whereabouts that it was 5 20 am and about an hour later melanie gave birth to another beautiful cub just as she did with her first litter and melanie cleaned it up gently to confirm baby's breathing everything is fine it then took the cub in its beak placed it next to its siblings and finally lay down to rest the caretakers excitedly announced on social media that melanie had given birth to two cubs their project has been a success, two cubs is an amazing feat, but this leopard mama made it. Even though this is only its first pregnancy, everyone is singing the praises of the cheetah, but the crew didn't know what to expect in the next few hours, they didn't realize that Melanie wasn't over, and in fact, it was far from it. Around 7.20 am, Melanie got up and started pacing around, taking the other two cubs to the other side of the pen so she wouldn't sit or step on it. Melanie squatted down again and waited patiently, and about 10 minutes later, Melanie gave birth to her third calf, and she cleaned up the cubs and lay down again. Everyone was watching, stunned by the incredible scene, multiple births are not uncommon, two hours between them is very unusual, but Melanie's surprising deliveries didn't stop there, as she gave birth to her fourth cub at 10.05 am and another at 11.34 am. It wasn't until the birth of the sixth cub that Melanie's labor was completely over. The six-hour delivery was not easy, and the staff rushed to let Melanie rest, they uploaded a video on social networks showing Melanie and Melanie's children and everyone cheering for them. Everyone knows that childbirth is a very painful process for mothers, but there is no doubt that Melanie is already a very good mother.